hello and welcome back and uh, in this video we understand uh, the installation of angular and stuff so it means we need to have a default setup okay so what is the default setup uh, for angular development so we need to install first node.js and we have to install another something called uh, angular cli and then typescript and then the editor okay so before you proceed with installation and please make sure you have a knowledge on typescript as well okay so you must know html you must know css uh, and javascript at least the basic understanding of uh, html tags css and javascript and little bit knowledge of typescript also required because in this entire angular uh, concepts we will be using typescript as a main programming language okay so if you want to have a knowledge on uh, typescript so please go visit my youtube channel in the playlist you can find a typescript videos okay and also html css and bootstrap and javascript as well so please go through that and before you jump into angular okay so now let's start with the installation of angular and stuff so first you have to install node.js so to install node.js you just need to go to google and search for node js uh, this is the official website and here you can find multiple links and in this you can just click on the uh, recommend for multiple users okay most of the users so you have to select this one okay uh, don't select this one because it will be keep uh, you know they will be keep changing the source code and you may face some bugs in this so i strongly recommend go with this okay so when i just click on this one it will download uh, for windows or if you are looking for any other platform you can just click on uh, other downloads just click on other downloads so you get the actual downloads page so here you can find the windows installer 32 bit or 64 bit or you can download the zip file and extract and install uh, you can find for mac os and linux and other okay so i have uh, it for uh, windows so i use msi file so mine is 64 bit so let me select let me just click on 64 bit so it's going to download a node.js version 14.17.1 as of today okay this is the current version as of today so i got downloaded so you can find it you can right click open in show in folder so when i click on show in folder so it opens in the downloads folder here so this is what i have so if you want to install this in your system you just need to double click on this and here you need to click on run and it is trying to install okay so just verifying your it's computing your space requirement so generally uh, the software actually it look into do you have enough space uh, in your system to install the software so that's what is happening behind and once it is done uh, you get the next step. okay so after that you just have to click this next 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 and finish uh, it's a simple installation you can also do it by yourself okay so i think it will take some time meanwhile uh, angular cli so we have to install this angular cli uh, but the thing is this angular cli so angular cli stands for angular command line interface so what is angular command line interface means uh, you can generate the angular stuff using the commands for example when i talk about angular architecture so if you want to create a component if you want to create a services if you want to create a directive pipes module gods everything whatever uh, you want to create the key pillars of angular you want to create the snippets of angular you're going to create we have a command line interface for that okay without using command line interface also you can create but you have to create each and every file structure by yourself for example let's take a component so if you want to generate a component uh, there are four files required one html one css one one ts file and one typescript uh, uh, test file for component test cases file also so like four files required so you have to create them all four and you have to configure in the app module so these steps five steps you have to do instead there is just one command it will make this entire setup for you 
okay like that everything can be done automatically by this CLI and this is our uh, main software to, to, to create the artifacts of angular and TypeScript yes we have we need to install because uh, uh, this angular runs on TypeScript so we must need uh, the TypeScript compiler in your system so TypeScript required and then editor so we need to develop the source code you may use uh, VS code or you may use WebStorm okay but only thing is WebStorm is uh, paid and this is free okay so now I think uh, it's been started for installation okay let's try let me minimize go here uh, click on next uh, yeah you must need to read the license I think most of the people will not read the license that's fine uh, click on accept and click on next uh, yeah it's going to install in your uh, C drive program file that's fine and click on next and then uh, nothing to select here click on next and here the most important part is don't select this guy okay so what this happens is it's gonna download all other modules like C, C++ and all Python and all the things we don't need them especially for angular is not required so don't select if you select you know installation takes one hour okay so please don't select this and See, I have not selected so click on next and then ready to install node.js just click on install okay so this will be installing node.js for you so I think it will take some few minutes okay so once uh, it is finished you can just uh, oh it asks for permission just click on yes okay so it is computing the space requirements and validating the installation mm, so finally you get the finish option okay so it's been successfully finished and then now click on finish okay so it will <coughs> done with the installation why my cursor is blinking over here okay <laughs> one second I'll just fix it I don't know it's still blinking uh that's fine so we are done with installation and you can cross check the node.js installation by going to the command line okay so in this you can just type node space hyphen hyphen version so you should get the current version 14.17.1 so today i have this version maybe after watching this video by the time you are watching this video it can be greater than this version that's not a problem you can still work on okay so once you confirm that node.js has installed in your system successfully then you are eligible to install the angular cli for angular cli we have a separate uh, website so when you just type here angular cli okay so this is the official uh, website for it angular cli so to install angular cli we have npm install hyphen g at angular slash cli okay so this npm stands for uh, node package manager and this node package manager comes along with node.js installation okay it means uh, once you have done the testing i mean checking the version of node.js you can also uh, search for uh, npm hyphen hyphen version so the node package manager comes along with the node.js installation so you get some different version than node so why this npm required is uh, any javascript library if you want to install in your system so this helps for us okay and even the command line interface is one javascript library given by the angular and we, we need to install using npm okay so let's copy that and paste it npm install hyphen g angular slash cli and click on enter so make sure you have a proper internet connection because uh, it will download uh, the angular cli from google and it it, it just makes the uh, local setup in your system okay so make sure you have a proper wi-fi connection or lan and then you can try this okay so in between you get some warnings and you can just ignore the warnings and finally you should get the angular CLI okay so let's wait for a few more seconds 
okay it's done okay so once it is finished once it is finished so now you can check the version just like a node version you can also check the angular version so just type ng space hyphen hyphen version enter ng stands for angular okay ng hyphen hyphen space hyphen hyphen version or lowercase so you should get the angular cli version and all of its dependent libraries as well okay so let's see the current version is 12.1.0 of angular okay so i think it will take some time let's wait see you got angular cli with some nice animation uh, i mean uh, a nice design and then you have angular cli version node.js uh, the package manager operating system and angular core see we are learning angular 12.1 okay that's fine okay so now we confirm in my system angular cli has been installed okay so once you have successfully installed angular cli the next step is goes to be you need to create a first application in angular so it means uh, in angular we are um i mean we are not going to create the whole application by ourselves from scratch uh, we will have to execute some commands to make this uh, to happen and before we proceed with first application we also need two softwares one is typescript and editor so to install typescript in your system go to google and just search for typescript okay so for typescript this is the official website for uh, typescript and to download the typescript just click on download yeah for download they have given you an option like this so you don't have a downloadable software you just have a command to install the uh, typescript so just do one thing go to command line npm install hyphen g must, must required hyphen g is global and then space typescript okay and then press enter so this is gonna install a typescript again we are using npm so typescript angular cli is all depend on a node that's why first we have to install a node.js in your system okay so we install typescript as well and you want to test typescript version you can just try tsc space hyphen hyphen version enter so you get version 4.3.5 okay this is the current version of uh, typescript okay super so this is done in the next video we'll see how to install the editors okay so i'll show you the installation of two editors one is uh, 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 vs code and then uh, webstrom okay so let's start in the next video thank you